Hi guys, welcome back to more episodes of The X-Files. We are back with Agent Doggett, who has now kind of completed his initiation, so to speak, in the last episode with the bat. Already starting to see that The X-Files are exactly what it says on the tin. Unexplained. Extraordinary. And uncategorizable. Paranormal, and if you speak any of that in an official report or document, you seem crazy like the rest of them. Like Scully, like Mulder, and you'll be ridiculed. And Kirsch is waiting for you to trip over your own feet with it. Right, let's carry on. Just before I do, if you've not already subscribed, you enjoy the X Files. Don't forget the button down here. I would very much appreciate it. We're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before the year is out. You guys can help me get there. Right, let's carry on. This is episode four, season eight. Oh, it's a boss. I thought it was a, I thought it was a truck. Stop, stop. Bitch. <laughs> supposed to be an actual stop. You got like highway hypnosis or something. You didn't see me standing there yelling, waving? Okay, I'd be a little bit creeped out by the fact that not a single person on the bus is making a sound. Ooh. Where's everybody going? They're all going to the same place. What have they all come to see? Uh, oh fuck, I think you're next. No! You're an outsider. No! How odd. Colt? Maybe? And it was the bus driver who did the killing. What the hell is that? So who called this in? Damn. Huh. Hey, it's Scully. Good morning. Good afternoon. I'm trying to reach you. Pay for well, actually, I'm out of town. A 22 year old backpacker who was last seen by his family about six months ago in perfect health. You didn't need me to tag along? Well, it was just a, a simple <laughs> consultation, and uh, he called me over the weekend, and I figured I wasn't going to bother you. Seeing as how you uh, recently read through all of our files, I, I ring maybe it would ring a bell with you. Well, I don't have a great memory for mucus. <laughs> I'll be happy to look. Well, same driver, is it? I'm sorry. Remember anything else? Sheriff's office. That's the best place to reach me. My cell phone doesn't seem to be working out here. All right, you got it. It's like a ghost town. Ah, good old maps. Remember those? Do you know what's up that road? Eventually gets you to Salt Lake. I mean, if you're not in too much of a hurry. Can I, uh, can I ask what happened to your hand? Oh, I was changing the blade on my bow saw. So. I got a quarter tank, I think I'll make it. It's all right. I feel awful bad if you didn't. Hang on. Huh. Uh, Do me a favor. Don't go telling people that I'm giving away free gas back here. I think maybe I've seen too many, like, movies where people end up in the middle of nowhere, broken down, or stop off to read a map, or... And then the next minute, <laughs> they're being stopped by some serial killer or hung up in a barn or... I'd be really, really worried that he questioned how much petrol you had, gas, whatever. And he may have put something in your tank to stop your car from working so you can't leave. So to make the engine conk out. About two miles down the road. Everyone around here seems really weird. I don't fucking believe it. <laughs> I'm right as well, aren't I? <laughs> I promise you, I haven't seen this. New full way, you'd be walking back within a mile or so. That, hey. that was. Excuse me. Kind of obvious. 
You put something in my tank that killed my engine. What? Yes, he did. It's water. I barely even smell any gasoline. Oh God, you're right. Well, that'll do I'm it. Sorry, I, I left it out. Can I help you? Yes, I hope so. My uh, car has stalled up the street, and I was wondering if I could use your phone. Sure. The line's dead. Oh no. Of course it is. Oh no, what a shame. Let me see. It'll come back on. How long? In a week. Ten minutes. Two hours. I could say. Two months. Sorry. I get the distinct impression that somebody doesn't want me to leave. Yeah. It's 18 miles to the state road. I'll walk. Another 20 to Sugarville. When he doesn't air back from it. And I'll keep that gun close. Oh, here they come with the torches and the pitchforks. <laughs> Who are they protecting? And why? Lost questions? I haven't a clue yet. There's a man downstairs that needs help. How long has he been seizing? Uh, three, four minutes. As far as I can tell, he's in status. It's a continuous seizure state. Okay, that's a major injury. Oh, God. Oh, what's that? How did this happen? At any rate, we need to get him to a hospital. Is that gross? No one here has a car. Fox. No cars. We could send someone to the state road on foot. I have some material my partner, Agent Scully, requested. She what's your fax up. number there? Uh, Agent Doggett, uh, when's your partner going to get here, by the way? Sheriff, could I trouble you to send a car out? Agent Scully is in Utah. She called me yesterday somewhere north of Sugarville. Danny, hi, this is John Doggett. I need you to trace a call for me. It came to this office yesterday about 1.30 in the hey, afternoon. Hey, phone. I'll be traceable. Well, I'm afraid that I have done all that I can do. Unless you know how to get a hold of diazepam or phenobarbital other than the nearest Don't hospital. Don't have that I think I just need rest. I think you need I more than that. Alone. Can uh, you stay? I'll go tell everybody. Why are you smiling? Do you know what your name is? Um. You don't remember, do you? What about these people who have taken you in? Do you know anything He's about them? He's another traveler, isn't he, that's um. pulled in? They uh, take good care of me. And I need to get you out of here, but I don't know how. Okay, do you think that you can walk? I don't know. That's worse than I thought. <laughs> okay, that's like the biggest spot ever. Wait, that's starting to hurt. Well, maybe you shouldn't do that. Oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, that's what's making me seize. Looking at a pretty desolate area, there's really nobody out there. All right, listen, you got help coming your way from our Salt Lake City office. I'm heading out there, too. It was placed to a Juliet Gulatarsky of Fort Collins, Colorado. She tells me it was her brother, Hank. He was on his way for a visit. He said he was stuck in the desert, but would be there in two days. That was him. He never showed. It seems to be a point of entry for, something. for a parasitic organism that yeah. has taken up residence along your spine. Does that mean I'm dying? You will die. Yeah. If we cannot treat you. I thought he was already dead when that These happened. People don't seem to want to let you go. But they killed the last person who was in your condition, and I'm afraid that they're going to try and kill you too. Yeah, it seems as though the police don't seem to know about this little town. I mean, it's not really death, yeah. I know, but a group of people. Agent John Doggett. Had a good time. Agent Doggett. It's the victim in our morgue. Where'd you get it? That's not your murder victim. That's a photo of a John Doe found off of West Texas Highway in 1991. New Mexico, 97. It's Nevada, 99. A lot. All four victims had their brains beaten out and were dumped in remote areas. The same wound kept showing up. These murders ranged throughout the Southwest, zigzagging wow. all over the desert. This is one of them really weird... We've had a few like this previously with, with Mulder and Scully. Where it's, it's just small town weird goings on. Hey, how do you He's not on your side. He's with them. I mean, a cult will stop at nothing to keep their secret. You're going to become a part of something much, much greater than you are. Uh, no. 
Uh, not the dome with him now. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Yet you're all going to prison. No! It's a big fish. I'm pregnant! No, don't do this! No! Oh, Christ, dog, you need to get your ass here. You'll protect us. What, like you just us. protected us those than we brains are. you'd be in? We're taught not to envy, but I do envy you, so... Oh. This is such a wonderful, wonderful thing. I don't get For what you they're doing. And your unborn child. That your body won't fail him. That's why they keep killing him. That he'll be in you forever. You lost? He's not stupid. It may be. Way the hell off the main road, that's for sure. Can we help you? Yeah, I hope so. I'm, uh... Looking for this woman. No. Can't say I have. Whoop! Thank you. Ah! Ah! You sure Probably she got, hasn't been through here? Then I got rid of that. We get so few visitors, we remember each one pretty well. All right. Oh man, did he get that, you know, that sense that they get that something's not quite right here? Just talked to a guy who had a gun in his pocket and I don't mean he was happy to see me. <clears throat> I'll send everybody I've got. I spotted Hurry. it. Hurry, I can't wait for you. Yeah, there's a lot of weird shit going on here. And she ain't out the woods either. God. Yeah, exactly. What do we do with this? Get me the hell out of here. I don't know. Probably not. Where's your car? It's about a half mile up the road. Oh, Christ, I feel like they're gonna stop him. Oh, the bus. Yes, yes, the bus. Hot wire time. Can hot wire it? Can I hot wire it? Gone in 60 seconds, Jack. Oh! No, oh, my God, it's going up. Oh, Christ. Hey, if he goes near the brain stem, she's fucked. No. Oh, bollocks. There they come. Please, stamp on it when you get it out. Come on, come on. Right, kill it, kill it. It might stop them. There you go. Yes. Chew him. Chew him. I take it if that thing's dead, there's nothing for them to... What I don't understand is the biggest question. Why? What did that thing give to you all? What did it offer to you? Here comes the cowboy. Thank, I, th I was really hoping it didn't end there. I want some sort of information, background on what happened and why. She fucking owes dog it one here. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Grand jury convenes today. All 47 cult members are sticking together. 47? They believe they worshipped Christ. Yeah. In a parasite. That that thing was a second coming. Delusional. Nice. Kind of I, I left you out of this case, and that was a mistake on my part. It was. It was almost a fatal mistake. And I won't do it again. Good. I appreciate it. <laughs> Just a standalone episode, but a very creepy one. Wow. Right guys, episode four. Um, I don't really know an awful lot to add to that. Other than, you know, I did quite a lot of, of shouting and screaming in that episode and, and trying to work out what the hell was going on. So, I mean, it was fairly obvious only a few minutes in that we were dealing with a town that was all in on something. Then it quickly led to it showing that it was a cult. And cults always based their belief around one thing control and that control comes in the form of a group goal and that's religion but in this circumstance they thought that was the second coming i mean forgive me i'm i'm not religious in any way but i don't think there's any religious book bible or anything close or the Quran or anything that says that 
what we believe to be Christ or God or whoever is going to come back as one of those things. <laughs> Usually people who are part of a cult fit a certain profile and boy did that town fit it and everyone in it. Weird. And I kind of agree with what Scully's had to admit there. I made a mistake here. I shouldn't have left you out of this. Because I think had that still been Mulder, and it wasn't Mulder who got on to this first, it was Scully, I think she would have still pulled him in down here. But in the end, boy, did she need him. Because had it not been for Doggett, she would not got out, got out of that. And even if she had, it would have been too late. What a weird one. <laughs> it's just right, right at the point when she stopped for gas, I've seen a movie that's very, very similar to it. And because everyone was being really weird on the bus and no one was talking and every, you know, it was a, it was a little stop off, not really a town where everything seems to be really old and, and not well cared for. I'm like, yeah, he's going to put something in your gas can to not let you leave. Normally, it's just usually like a single one male who might be looking for any females up across the area and that's like your killer or whatever, but it, it fitted the profile well. I just happened to be lucky enough to be right. It was just in different circumstances. But still, I thoroughly enjoyed the episode. Um, so that's two episodes back to back now where Doggett has already seen evidence of what he's been reading with the X-Files and he's not well first of all initially he's not freaked out he's used his investigative and his detective skills to good avail and so far has been there in the nick of time pretty much in both episodes what with the last one in the bar and with this one so we've had two cases back to back that are basically his first two X-File cases that in, that are not necessarily pa paranormal, but are involve creatures that we didn't know existed. So it's not aliens and paranormal and, and, and spontaneous combustion or anything that he may have read elsewhere or heard about. But he's seen already that there are species and there are things on this planet that you think you're all aware of, that we're all aware of, that you're just not. And they come out in the weirdest places, usually hidden in plain sight, just as that was. Right, I will be back with episode 5 next. If you do want to watch any episodes of the X-Files in full, you can do over on Patreon. The link will be in the description. As always and if you've not already subscribed i would appreciate it i know we're eight seasons in already and you should have subscribed by now but appreciate it if you haven't to hit this button down here and i will see you for episode five next till then guys thanks for watching by all means post your comments down below do not forget to give the video thumbs up see you for episode five take care Duh.